what can we do? Diaper dermatitis, again, the contact of wet skin and diaper against the wet skin, can be helped by having the skin be as least wet as possible. So that means frequent diaper changes, airing out the baby a little bit in between diaper changes, all those things help to dry out the skin. Diaper rash skin is really good at healing itself. Our bodies are really good at healing themselves. We just have to leave them alone. So for diaper dermatitis, wiping of the skin prevents healing of the skin. Well, great, what are you gonna do? The baby has a wet diaper or a dirty diaper. It's not like you can just take a dirty diaper off and throw a new one on, you have to clean the skin. But no matter how gently you wipe, with a tissue or a paper towel, really as the softest cloth you can imagine, no matter how gently you wipe, you're still wiping off the new skin that's trying to form and heal over this irritated skin. So I'd like you to try to figure out a way to clean the baby off without wiping. That means water. Water is really our friend with this. I'd like you to think about undressing the baby from the waist down every time the baby has a dirty diaper and holding the bottom underneath a flowing faucet of water, either the sink or the bathtub, whatever is more comfortable for you. Another option is filling up a squirt bottle. This is a Perry bottle that you can purchase over the counter, or you can use a ketchup bottle or some other type of squeeze bottle that you just cleaned out and you fill it with warm water. When you allow the water to clean off soil, it cleans it off without wiping skin at all. After the area is clean, then you leave the diaper open, you let the baby air dry, or you can pat dry gently without wiping. And then I want you to apply a thick barrier ointment on top of that. It doesn't matter what it is. You can use Vaseline, you can use Desitin, any kind of zinc oxide preparation you want, anything. It's really more as a protective coating for the next time the baby wets or soils. That's how you care for diaper dermatitis. I promise if you leave that skin alone and you don't wipe, usually within 24 to 48 hours, the rash is much better. Let's switch over to yeast infections now. And again, those are the infections that tend to go in the folds of the skin. If your baby has a yeast infection, you will need an anti-yeast cream to take care of that. There are some over-the-counter forms of yeast cream. Lotrimin is one that I can come up with. And there are prescription yeast creams as well. So if you feel as though your baby has a yeast diaper infection that you can't take care of yourself, call your doctor. They may want to have you bring the baby in so they can see the baby, but then they can prescribe a cream that can be used. And again, air is our friend for these types of rashes, which means if you have a place where you can leave your baby's diaper open for a while, during a nap, if you can spread towels out on the crib so that the baby can have the diaper open and air dry a little bit, that prevents yeast from kind of taking hold into a skin fold. Older children, those who are eating table foods, can actually take some foods in their diet that can help to prevent the overgrowth of yeast. Things like yogurt, things like acidophilus that you can buy in the health food store or the pharmacies. Those are natural bacteria that help to keep yeast infections under control. For any questions regarding diaper rash care or any additional topics you'd like to see covered, please contact me at askdrresa at gmail.com or follow the link below for our website.